Hello there, M. Strange here. Um, I got a couple questions about lip sync and how to do really easy or fast lip sync with Cinema 4D. So I'm actually going to give you the tool that I'm using on my new animated feature film, I Am Nightmare, to do my lip sync. So if you use this tool and set it up, um, which is pretty easy to set up, this is how easy it is to do lip sync. So all you have to do is load an audio file and then press play. So that's pretty easy, right? So and also in here you have this control, so you control how much the mouth opens when it's talking. And then you can turn the sync off and then manually control the open and close mouth and then you can actually disable the controller if you want to manipulate the, the joints yourself. So what I'll be giving you is this file and it's set up so it works with either the built-in Cinema 4D joints and it works with the Cactus Dan joint so you can use either one so when you look inside this file I put this null for head geometry so you just put your geometry in here then this is the actual stuff that makes the lip sync work and I'm just using MoGraph with the sound effector so if you want to screw with that stuff and here's the Expresso that has everything in here if you need to adjust it for you and then here's the joints so there's Cinema 4D joints and there's Cactus Dan joints so if you're using the built-in Cinema 4D you would skin it using these and if you're gonna use Cactus Dan's of course you would skin it using these so um, there's a lot of tutorials out on the internet about skinning so you can go find those and the only tip I'll give you about that is just make sure that there's an actual separation between the upper and lower mouth and if you have a mouth bag make sure that um, you know it's separated because if it's not separated enough it's going to be really hard to do the to skin the jaw but if you set if you do it set it up okay it's not really a big deal it's pretty easy so yeah I'll be giving this project file so all you have to do is skin the jaw to your to your um, mesh and it should be good and there's just one more thing I wanted to show you so when you load in this audio file you'll notice that the audio won't play so it's gonna be like this and I'll tell you why so when you load in the audio you'll see the jaw moving oops we have to turn sync on you'll see the jaw moving but you won't hear any audio and that's because the thing that's actually driving the sync is the sound effector and I turned it off which you can turn it on and hear it but the sound effector I found doesn't give you really accurate um, sync when you're looking at frames and listening to the sound. It's kind of off and also you, there's no way to see the sound wave, which is helpful when animating. So I prefer to turn that off and then if you look in the visual selector that comes with it, there's this audio file holder. So this is just a null and I set a little script so it'll automatically pop in the timeline. And then what I do for each one is that I add a sound um, track and then I load the sound in here and so this will play back and this will actually give me a sound wave so there we go this is an audio test. and this is accurate <laughs> so it gives you accurate audio to animate to and then you have the lip sync running so um so yeah you can use my tool skin to your head and do your lip sync so I hope it's helpful and oh, right now for uh, my new animated feature film I Am Nightmare I'm actually running a Kickstarter campaign for it so I'm trying to like raise the funds so I can hire professional voice actors and stuff like that so if you go to my website, website m.strange.com you can click on the side for the Kickstarter and if um, you want to consider donating to it that will be awesome and I'll keep making tutorials so if you have any questions or um, requests if you want me to make a tutorial about how to skin ahead to this, I can do that. So, um, But if not, you can just take the tool and go with it. So hope it's helpful to some people out there. Until next time, M.Strange saying bye-bye.